I am so tired of feeling like it's never gonna be my turn to find love and I know that someone out there knows what I mean right now. Like I know I'm overreacting to this specific incident but this is like the fourth time this has happened since I re-downloaded the dating apps earlier this month and decided you know what I'm an adult. I'm gonna try and get like an adult relationship and actually do dating for once. So we match, we talk for a while, we plan the date, right? We can't do that day, we move the date to this day, totally fine. I go, how about 5.30, reasonable time. Let's actually get dinner, like let's commit to this. This seems promising. He goes, okay. Then he texts me, he goes, can we actually do 6.30? Because I have a meeting, it's gonna run a little long. I'll be able to do 6.30 instead. And I said, that's a little bit annoying because it's a tad bit late. I'm going to be starving, but that's fine. So today's the day, right? 5.45 rolls around. I've just finished doing my hair and makeup and I get another text from him going, hey, I'm running late again. Could it be possible that we move the date to seven again? So I text all my friends, both guys and girls, just to make sure I'm not crazy and go, do I allow this? And they go, no, moving it once, maybe twice. That's where I would have stopped it. But a third time, absolutely not. I'm starving at this point, And that's just disrespectful of my time. So I send them a little respectful. You know what? Hey, don't even sweat it. Like you enjoy your evening. It's pretty late already and I am starving. So I'm just going to eat. And he keeps texting me and he's also like now trying to guilt trip me being like I'm not going to enjoy my evening like blah so red flag you know bullet dodged I guess in the long term and usually I would just let it go however I have planned like almost four or five dates now since I redownload the apps almost every single time this is exactly what keeps happening they keep pushing the date back pushing the date back until I just have to say hey I'm not going anymore because that's disrespectful of my time and me as a person and like I know this isn't the biggest deal in the world, but especially feels like it really digs into that childhood wound of like, no one's ever gonna love you. You're never gonna find anyone who loves and respects you. And it's like, why does this keep happening? Like when you make a plan and you say you're gonna show up at a certain time, I, and maybe it's just me, I need you to show up at that time. I need to know that you are a person of your word and that you can show up for me, especially like early on in the beginning like this. It's just a big thing for me and like trusting people and consistency. Shout out childhood wounds. I've got to admit, I did feel kind of sorry for this one, but she did admit she was overreacting. It looks like he was either testing to see if she could be understanding enough to meet him later or he genuinely couldn't make it. She said he is a red flag, but she is the one who is crying over it and talking about reliving childhood wounds. All she had to do is reschedule it for another day, but instead she goes on a tirade about being disrespected. She said she is starting to feel crazy at this point. Well, she is crazy. <laughs> Why is it so hard to find a man who respects you and your time as a person? These are some very bare minimum standards to be setting and why does it feel so impossible for them to meet? Like I've had enough, I'm exhausted. It feels like there's absolutely no end in sight. Everyone on this planet deserves someone who respects them and their time and treats them well. And I'm not even asking people to like move mountains for me anymore at this point. It feels crazy. Like these boys and dating are genuinely starting to make me feel crazy. It's not about him respecting her time. It's about her being understanding enough to realize he can't make it at the time they originally agreed. If women get angry and stroppy about things like this, it's better if you avoid them entirely. Avoid like the fucking plague. Like I genuinely just want love in my life so badly. It's literally not about anyone else. It's just about me and what I want. And, and being fucking over the fact that I don't have it. I feel like I have done so much work on myself. I have built a beautiful life for myself. I'm happy with my life where I'm at, my job. I'm successful. I'm independent. I'm healthier than I've ever been. I take such good care of myself. Truly the only thing I'm missing in my life is someone to enjoy it with. And I'm so sick of waiting. Like when is it going to be my turn? What more do I have to do to fix myself? before I'm just allowed to be happy, before I'm allowed to meet this universe soulmate person that God supposedly has for me, how much harder do I have to pray and manifest and wait? I feel like I'm being punished for something I didn't do. And I'm just so tired, I'm so tired. I don't want, I don't expect a lot. 
I just want love in my life so bad. I want my life partner. I just... Am I just supposed to be alone? Like, is that the message that this beautiful life I've built for myself, like, it's just supposed to be me in it alone? Like, I know I have my dog and I love him so much, but like, I need love. All of my friends have their fiancés and their boyfriends and their husbands that they prioritize. Like, as far as I'm concerned, I've been left behind. And I really just want to find that person that matches my energy and wants to build a life with me. Is that so hard? Finding a relationship is not about the self. It's about the person you want to develop a relationship with. Modern women seem to think the more they love themselves, the more men will love them. They have it all wrong. If they want to find love, they have to give love, but they don't give love. And when they do give it, they try to give it to Chad Roan, but Chad Roan doesn't want anything to do with them. It's so useless! Girls think that they want to date a high value man until he starts calling you out for not taking responsibility, before he starts holding you accountable, before he has higher standards for you than you have for yourself. We're talking about, oh, date a high value man. It's so, this is what you do to have to attract a high value man. But I've never heard anyone talk about like actually dating a high value man takes a totally different kind of woman. It's not for the weak. I have other friends who are dating like very loving, very successful, perfectionist, ambitious men and bless you, it is not for the weak. A higher value man needs a high value woman and she does not fit the profile. It's great that she can admit she is not suitable but it does show us that many of these women believe they deserve high value men but when it comes down to it they cannot ever live up to those requirements. They're lost! Oh my god why are you single? Why are you single? Too sexy, too much brains, too much butt, too beautiful, too successful, too rich, too much flavor. Not sexy enough, not enough brains, flat ass, too ugly, too much of a failure, too broke and tastes like shit. Savage. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your support guys.